laugh while dishing out the advice that you didn't even know you needed. Watch Laugh Talk Giggle live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Now grab that wine glass, fill it up, and get to sipping, because it's about to go down, baby. I'll be back in two. Oh, wait, two. We, get, we get a ding ding for that one. Right, right. <laughs> okay, so mine is what scene from a movie scared you for life? I'm gonna tell you, you know what's movie just in general that kind of scared me? Uh, Beloved, believe it or not. That was just a creepy oh. movie. Yeah. The, the girl time saying, eh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, I never got that. I watched it twice. I couldn't get it. I was like, huh? Because it's movie it goes from the the past to the present mm-hmm. and it's in the self present it shifts it, even if you read the book it's like it's in the past then the next thing that it's, really it's, it's, the, it's the present, present. okay we had to read that book for quite a while oh, okay and watch the movie now that's oprah was in there right yeah. and it was the makeup that was kind of she didn't have any on it was a little scary oprah mm-hmm. girl Eyeliner, blush, a little foundation. That's who she was playing in the movie. She had to look crazy. Woo! Oprah. <laughs> just saying, just saying. I feel you, Oprah, because okay. that wig they had me on yesterday, I had to wear wigs all weekend. And I got, I'm doing my hair, y'all. Y'all know I got to get my hair together. But the wig we had on, it was an Afro wig. That's how uh, you wig on the movie? Yeah, we did a short film. But the wig was so horrible. It was one of them Afro wigs, and it looked like it came from uh, Party City. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, those are cheap. Yeah, it was, it was bad. It was real bad. So, but did anyway. you guys finish? Yeah, we finished. Okay, we finished so when yesterday. Are they gonna, when does it air? I don't know. Got some feedback here? Yeah. Let me sit. I don't really want to get out of there. When does it air? Then? I'm not oh, sure. Okay. Because she still, um, what it is, is uh, she has volumes, and I think it go up to five. So, volume one is what we shot. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, cool. 
what yeah. show is it going to be on? YouTube? Yep, it's going to it's gonna live stream. It's going to be free for everybody to see. So when okay, it's all said cool. and done, everybody's going to be able to watch it. That's okay, cool. sounds great. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, now, I, sure. well, you know what? I was just going to say, the movie that scared me was two. The Night of the Living Dead, the original. Ooh. Ooh. Did you cry that one? Yeah. I don't know why that was so scary, but I remember my, um. I don't know how we saw it. I don't know what it was, but I just remember one day my mom out with her and one of her boyfriends. Right. And this, we, you know how, you don't you know, as a kid, you don't pay attention to people. So I didn't pay attention that he disappeared and then he just popped up out the car and grabbed my ankle. And I swear to this day, Ooh. I'm like always bagging up, looking up under cars because it just scared me. Now but, oh my God. Movie that scared me was The Howling. That was I, a good movie. Me and my Ooh. boyfriend went to see it. We all slept <laughs> in the same. The effects of the maker. Of yes. Them and t- them it turning. The mess. The wolf thing. No, we look. We had to see them. In the, the 80s. Effects. Was it in eight, oh, late oh, 80s or that that early old, 90s? Old movie. But for the, yeah, t- was, for the time, the effects were great. Yes. I, I'm, I'm telling you. That scared me too, but I loved it. And I kept watching that movie. Wolf on TV for real. When she did that, they shot us. We all slept the same way. Yep. That was a good movie, though. I was like, what was it? It was good. Whoa. You didn't like it? I just recently seen it, just honest guys. Really? If I didn't see it, so yeah. if you would have seen it, I saw seen it on it the Bounce na- Station or something mm-hmm. like that. I just le- recently saw it within yeah. the last and see, they month probably, or they so. They cut a lot of it out. Oh, I don't know. I, but I, I was like, this I tell is some you, corny shit. I tell shit. you what, I ain't going to see it. I don't want to see it no more. You really don't? Oh, I watched no. it several times. No. But yeah, see, like, I'm a weird one. But I like it. Right. I like too, that. But yeah. that one got me. Yep, that did get me, but I kept watching it because it was so good. Um, arachnophobia got me. That was when the thing, when the spiders came. Oh, baby. Yeah, I don't know about that. You didn't I'm see that? I'm not a spider fan, but for some reason they gravitate to me. I don't care where I'm at. There's always a spider. If it's I mean, a motherfucking they, spider they in the room, it's the, crawling they, on they me. Spiders out there, but I, I don't, don't care what they say. I, mm-mm. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm not a spider fan. Me neither. <laughs> you like to pay. Well, this one me. is silly, so you know I want the silly one. <laughs> so, um, y'all can have this one. Both y'all can answer this. I'm, I'm challenging both y'all to answer this okay. one. Okay. And I'll pick the silly one because I like the silly one. Okay. You see your friend's spouse out with another person in an intimate manner. Do you approach, take a picture, or call your friend? All three. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would approach and be like, hey. Make my, sure they know you. Right. See me. Right. I'll use my um, ex-husband's name. <laughs> hey, yeah. Billy. How you doing? <laughs> I'm gone. While, I'm taking, a, take a while, while I'm taking a picture. Hey, Billy. <laughs> Y'all look so cute. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know how they say it wasn't meant to, to you um, touch it? Oh yeah, who hey, said that? Oh yeah, cause that's some blue so stuff so right doing? there. Yeah. If, you, you, okay. if you ain't tap me on my shoulder, if you ain't see my hat no, on the it's, side it's, of the it's bed, you. It's you. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. That's I, that's never happened to me. Has it ever happened to you? Yeah. Where you've seen something like that? Happen? I, have. I have. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Did you do any and of these? This things? is what I did. Okay, so me and my girlfriend was at the club, <laughs> and we saw um, my girlfriend's boyfriend there, but he didn't see us. Mm-hmm. So we went back and told her, and we said, don't say nothing, because he didn't see us. Did she go back and see him? <laughs> so you know when I saw him again, What'd I ain't say? say nothing. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, you saw him out again with yeah, somebody yeah. else? Yeah. I hate when uh, people do that. Why do he, he didn't see us. So what did she you, told. Yeah. Why do people do that? Like, she probably what? He didn't see us. Yeah, I don't think she should have said He I shouldn't have, she said, shouldn't anything, have said anything. anything. She, didn't have no, she couldn't say she saw Especially him. if she was going to stay with him. Why would you say anything? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so yeah. now, yeah. me being your, you know what I'm saying, your eyes and ears, now I'm not going to do that because you putting me on front street. Well, this ain't for you, now ain't me. Exactly. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Mm-hmm. I've never had it happen, but I honestly, oh, yeah. I, I can only say it depends on the person. Like it my does. friend, how close we are. Yeah. Um. But I, it, it doesn't matter if I, if I, we're not close or not. I'm going up. Hey, because I'm, <laughs> I'm going to let you know I see you. I right. see you. I'm not going to say right. anything. But if it's somebody I know and I love her mm-hmm. or him, I'm like, you know what? It's good seeing you. So I'm gonna give you guys a call tonight because mm-hmm. I'm going to let you know <laughs> the phone going to ring. Yeah. The phone is going to ring. Damn. 
<laughs> but see, I, I have but had it. I don't know him. I would say that. I have had it the op- the other way. I was gonna say the opposite way. I had had it another way where I didn't say anything. That's because the spouse already knew the oh, man yeah. was. If that's yeah. So what's the point? Right. Like, yeah. yeah. I agree one hundred percent. Yeah. So what's oh, yours? Oh, this one's funny to me. It says <laughs> if animals could talk, which species would be a snitch? A skunk. I don't know. A skunk or a possum. A possum seemed like it would be a snitch. You know, I, I was kind of thinking a gnat. Because they always, <laughs> like, guess what they did? Guess what they did? Guess what they did? Guess what they did? Over here. Oh, then gnats all over here. Gnats that is so good. That, that because they are so annoying. They are so annoying. That's the one. They are annoying. They are always somewhere. So, so quick to fly. Yeah, but it, I guess a gnat is an insect, yeah. not an animal. Oh, yeah. So that's I true. I say animal. What's the little, um, Monkeys, you know them little. Cause you know the monkeys always. The ones that always at, stealing um right. stuff when you go to certain when you parts. Go, and you look in the zoo and all that. They just always doing something. This, this not monkey, the um bam like the baboon. Not cheetahs, no, not baboons. No, they, the, not the koala bear. No, I know what you're talking about. The monkey, little monkey. Not the monkey. cheetah, like the the Tarzan Jane movie where he be flipping his lip Ooh. over like that. Chimpanzee. Yeah, a chimpanzee. chimpanzee. Mm-hmm. Or, Ooh. Uh, the little, the little monkey like the guy had on uh, Friends. Remember he had Marcel? Oh, with a diaper. Oh, probably. Yeah, you remember that? He seen them type of monkeys seem like they'll be running around telling stuff. Like, oh, you know. You, you, know mm-hmm. I, you know I saw them do it. Mm-hmm. You know she was doing such and such and such and such and she <laughs> ate all your food out the fridge. Mm-hmm. It's my turn. I kind of like that one. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what's that? Uh, I think that they all stuck together. They like that. You like both of them. I got, I'm going to give this one to you. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm going to give this one to you. What is this one? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it say? So it says break up via text, phone, call, or in person. Explain your answer. Okay. <laughs> so All of the above. There's no real, okay, so, <laughs> okay, so. The preference would be to be in person. However, if the person is verbally, emotionally, or physically abusive, abusive. if you get in one in relationships and early on you find out that this person, male or female, is not right, you know, like mm-hmm. if I say something they don't like, they're going to reach out and grab me Ooh. and try to swing on me or try to manipulate me or pin me down, mm-hmm. then that's a telephone call, maybe a text, <laughs> um, and then a real quick block. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> and then another reason for a text would be if this person is someone that you know that you get in a room with this person and y'all gonna be in that bed again, so you'd be like, Oh, no, uh, I'm yeah. gonna text you goodbye, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, but and block, I, yeah, and block. I just don't think I don't know the phone because then you can hear the voice on the phone, you'd be like, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be there, give me five. <laughs> and then we broke up for real this time. This time. So I think, yeah, for me, I would prefer in person. But it, it, I think it's all the different things that the different uh, variables around. Right. It. You know, violence or emotional, you know, abuse, mm-hmm. stuff like that, um, and whatever else it could be for me. But then I'm going to say, I challenge you ladies to answer that question. Uh oh. Okay. For me personally, I ain't never breaking up with nobody in person. <laughs> No male. Really? No. Uh, really? No. Why? I don't think of things happen. Well, oh. it is a little different. Now. I, well, you know what? I'm not going to. No, 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 no. Yeah, oh, in person because you can easily tell. Yeah, what happened? Like, like you just know she was there. Or so, you right, know, somewhere I, went neutral. I don't no. want to be on your territory at no. all. No. And I don't want you in my house or no. anything. So yeah, I no. agree with that. Dominant, and I'm asking, because, like, I'm assuming this question is that you kind of thought about everything and you say it's time for us to move well, on. Well, I might have, it depends. If it's uh, somebody I really like, I'm probably going to meet them somewhere. But if it's someone I really don't care for, I'm going to stick to that text. I can see that. And probably block. Because I automatically block that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would traditionally call, but it depends on, like you said, the variables with, if they're violent or not. And if they're violent, instead of me breaking up with them as they call, I just don't answer the phone well, anymore. You know what? You never <laughs> know. Um, 
like, person to me. You're right. Because of being I'm you're right. And I had somebody one of my friends, um, his girlfriend broke up with him. And you know what he did to her? He tied her up and kept her um kept her in a, in the, in his house and he he raped her and she had got his head off of her body. In real life? Yeah. Yeah, people are crazy. Yeah, people are crazy. You never know. But that's a what? It's all of that. It's so many. It's all of that. So you know, my child. Oh yeah, I heard they're they're they're. He's not getting out because he's trying to get out now. Oh wow. Yeah, y'all know child support is just part of the adult life. Yeah, and and you know what? That's the scary part of breaking up with people nowadays. That's why. Because you just never know what you get. You never know. But anyway, everybody, if you're watching NASCAR and Get Back and WJZ Crew TV, the coolest station in the world, streaming live every Monday night at 7 p.m. on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Periscope. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Hi, I'm Kelly from Last Call Giggle, reminding you that we need we stakeholders of Wayne County must be aware of the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's work together and remind each other to keep practicing all established COVID-19 protocols, such as social distancing, wearing masks, wash your hands, use proper sanitizer and cleaning products. Mm-hmm. Amen. Okay, so Thank you. Now, what's, that sec- what's the second one? Okay, my question is, if you were a candy bar, oh. which candy bar would you be? <laughs> I would be a Snickers. And I would be a Snickers because I love that caramel. And I always have to get that milk. <laughs> I think we are nut ladies, right? Yeah, are we nut they ladies? Got full of well, they are. Nut. They are. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's <laughs> cute. What about you? <laughs> okay, so what kind of? I don't. I don't really like candy bars. Oh, oh, oh! That's not a candy bar. Is a Christmas candy a candy bar? For you? No. Oh no, it's not. Oh. Um. I like Kit Kats. Okay. <laughs> See, I, 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 only on that time, I'm trying, right? Kid. You just went right there. You went from nuts to cats. <laughs> I'm just wow. saying. Um, I, I don't know. I have to. If I can't be a good, good, what else do they have out there? Juicy fruit, gum. I'm trying. To, I'm trying. To, I'm not a big candy, candy bar, bar candy either. Candy bar. Mm-mm. Uh, I, I, I don't do know. Ugh, I don't like you. coconut. I, I, um, you say you don't like coconut. That is a because <laughs> <laughs> not only do I want it to represent me, I want it to be something that you want to eat. I'm just saying. What's the most? Well, some people like to eat coconut. <laughs> It's from her shoes. Is it all chocolate? It's, it's like chocolate it's and got it. it got all everything. It, it's so good. Eater, it's so, it's so good. Thing. No, if you ate this, if it's all, it's, it's, it's got other things than chocolate. That's why I what, said. So the symphony has the um top. What is it? Top toffee. To- Oh, I like toffee. Toffee, toffee. Oh, I like the uh, chocolate. Toffee Hold on, let me. I'm about to Google it. Now that's, pro- but that's not a candy bar. Man, I can't think it is a candy bar. It's like a little. It's like a little piece of heaven and it melts this in your happened. mouth. What? You're looking up the candy bar. I'm going to show her the candy bar. I'm going to show the candy bar. Goodness, I told you what I was going to be. You know, I'm not a big candy person like that. Why? Yes, ma'am. What does it look like? What? I said a symphony. What 
What's wrong with a Tiffany? It's it's not it, but I can't it. believe you said Tiffany. Oh, we need people to call what in I do and tell now? us. Um, I had, what did I do? Audience. If you want. Three five five zero six one eight three one three. Come here. What did I do? Y'all look like you want to be a candy what bar. What candy bar, y'all? Candy bar. I said a symphony. We know we're not talking to you. We're talking to the audience now. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, my bad. Why you got to like that? Oh, okay. Yep, almonds and toffee. And it's delicious. Oh, I forgot yeah, it is. So you got the nuts, you got the sweet, you got the chocolate. Yes. I like toffee. Okay, somebody call it. Oh, you got to call it. Yeah. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Can you accept? Thank you. Hello. Hello. Is it too close? Hold on a second. Give us a moment. I think that's the same candy there. Okay. Hello. Can you hear us? I can hear you now. I don't hear anything either. Hello. That's it. There we okay, go. there we hey. go. Hello, Woo. What's going on, ladies? What's going, What's going on? on? Oh, not much. I gotta call in first. I gotta tell you, your volume sucks. It sucks. Oh. It's it's low. We can't, it's very low. We can barely hear you. You know what? That's what someone else said. We tried to adjust that. So right. hopefully our engineer hears you say that the volume is low, because we were told it was the other people's devices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not buying it, but whatever. Ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what can we do for you today, caller? I call this is uh oh by the way this is uh old Pookie. Pookie oh Pookie. Hey, Pookie. Pookie. Oh, Pookie, okay, what's up, Pookie? Uh, I want to read some questions. Okay, well, okay. okay. You want us to ask you questions, or you gonna ask us questions? Let's do it all. All right, all right. Yeah. Ready? All right. You want us to start? Ask him yeah. like a candy bar. Oh, I don't have no questions. Oh, well, you know what, Pookie? <laughs> It says, if you were a candy bar, which bar would you be? If I was a candy bar, uh huh, I'd be a Twix because I'm twice as nice. Ugh, get some. I'm gonna pull a question out of here. I'm going way in the bottom. Mm-hmm. Just done. for you, Pookie. Oh, you got Pookie get special treatment. You better. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, it says, if you are dating, do you wait for the other person to decide if she wants to be in a relationship with you? Why or why not? That's weird. What? So if you're dating somebody, the way I'm reading this question, and you want to be in a relationship, do you wait to see if the other person is interested in being in a relationship as well? Or do you um, just say this is not for me and move on? Well, first of all, Pookie is very beautiful. So oh! Everybody wants a piece of this. Everybody wants a piece of that Piece of that twist. Pookie! Pookie! I ain't never had no, t- no, no, no turn down. Oh, you're going to turn down all right now. If I would, by some chance, in some weird way. Some weird way. <laughs> you know, I'd have to just, you. oh, you don't want this? Well, this can go that way. <laughs> I feel you, Pookie. I feel you. How tall are you, Pookie? Huh? How tall huh? are you, Pookie? Uh, who? How tall, How tall are you? I am seven three. So <laughs> <laughs> Good I'm life. five foot six, but you better not make no jokes. <laughs> Say five six, but no jokes. Oh, no right. damn jokes. Pookie okay. got a deep voice, so you know when yeah, you're a little yeah. man, you need a deep voice. I don't know. I just sound good, you know. That's, That's what all it is. Good. You sound good. You sound good. Okay. It's it's all part of the package. It's all together. All right now, Pookie. <laughs> now, Pookie, I got a real real uh, question for you. Um, see how you are. Your integrity is okay. Oh. Hey, <laughs> 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 right. come on, Pookie. Go on, come on with it. Ask away. <laughs> You are extremely drawn to a friend's ex. Do you pursue a relationship or do you one-nighter or go with the flow? (laughs) Well, we start off with the one night. 
and depending <laughs> on how the flow go, it might be a relationship. But it's your friend's ex. ex. So. Oh, okay. Okay. You, I don't know you roll like that, huh, Pookie? What? Look, 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 it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. But what, <laughs> what you gonna tell your friend? Right. It uh, is what it is. I got next. You know what? You nasty. nasty. You nasty. <laughs> I got one question for you, Pookie. We got to come up with something. Ooh. Can we find a clean question for Pookie? Okay. Pookie, I got a good What is a clean question? That's <laughs> always best. Pookie, okay. Do you stay in a relationship if the sex is bad? Hmm. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no, that's a negative. I knew he was a straight no. no. That's I another knew he was one. That's a no. 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 Would, you say, would you say no, 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 huh? Mm-hmm. Would no. you? Well, that's a teaching no. opportunity. Would you girls stay in a relationship? But even if she was, would okay, you do it? Well, wait a minute. If she was fine as hell. No, it ain't worth it. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't even try. No. no what if it was Gen- Jennifer Lopez? Then, well, I mean, you know, you gotta get it for the one time, but you know, after that, you know. <laughs> who can you imagine? <laughs> oh, I'm so I'm done. Just you just say, you, are you speaking for all men or just yourself? Are you just speaking about Pookie? I say about ninety six percent. Oh Lord! <laughs> oh Lord! That sounds about that right. That sounds about that's, right. So you just go hit it once at least, just to say you've been there. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's a good question. Now, if, is there anybody celebrity? Let's just say celebrity that you would hit just because it's them. Uh, Rihanna. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. You like Rihanna? Rihanna's cute. She's cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she get it twice on Monday. Because <laughs> <laughs> you had the weekend to rest. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're going to rest up all weekend. We're going to save all that energy. <laughs> okay, okay. I think mine would be Idris Elba. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, oh, I'm you just want saying. old burnt chocolate with me. <laughs> <laughs> She out here dating charcoal. And <laughs> her. I didn't say date. We we talking it's about a one time. A uh, wham bam. Thank you, man. Okay, what's wrong? What's wrong with the dark men? Exactly. <laughs> Nothing, but still, I'm just saying. You know, that, that nigga's a charcoal brick quick. Is that how you say? He it? is not that dark. <laughs> that oh my the god. Product after him. He got that English accent, you know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, that's kind of All right, Mike, you want the accent? Uh-oh. <laughs> All right now, Pookie. <laughs> Don't he start got, no that. He got an accent for you. <laughs> Sorry, Idris. <laughs> and, and who? Idris. <laughs> Hope he's not watching. <clears throat> so, Pookie, oh. do you follow our show every week? I watch it every time I can, you know. I mean, I got that little stemmy money in right now, so I'm <laughs> fucking that up at the moment. But, you know. You know what? So, <laughs> do you yeah, watch it on Facebook? Good looking. <laughs> Are you watching on Facebook or YouTube? Oh, uh, we on YouTube with it. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. I can't watch it on Facebook. They be uh, they be them bleep me out because my language is uh not up to par with the correctness of the vernacular and the profanity. So, oh, right, oh, and we okay. really don't do a lot of cursing on yeah, this we, show. Yeah, we don't curse a lot. It's very rare. Every now and then, probably like damn or something. But I think every week somebody say at least let me, one. Let me find one more. We're not gonna <laughs> hold you up all day, Pookie. But we really enjoyed you, and we hope you call back. I, but we, let me ask you a question, and if the, the ladies wanna. Well, well, I got like, one more with me. Let's get it. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so this says, if you were given an envelope with the date and time of your death Ooh. and you were told opening it would reduce your time by three years, would you open it? Ooh. That's actually a good question. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you might mm. only have three years. <laughs> Shit, you might die on the spot. Shit, you never right, know. That's what she's saying. Well, today is my date. 
Damn, no, that bitch gonna stay closed up. <laughs> you know that's what it was that you would get some real yeah. duct tape and tape tape it closed so it don't yeah, accidentally we gonna, we gonna, open. Yeah, that's no. one of those things you you put that up uh under the under the dresser and forget it's there. Right, and hope no one opens yeah, I, it. I know that's right. Oh wow. Hope, well, all right, so Pookie. Nice. Well, we enjoyed you. We gotta uh get ready to pay our bills. But thank you for okay, calling. Okay, but wait. Me. Before y'all pay y'all bills, Lady J, can you stand up three times and yell Beetlejuice? I want to see if he pop out the corner. Are you trying to talk about my pants? Beetlejuice. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice. <laughs> my pants are cute, Pookie. So <laughs> Bye, Pookie. Bye, Pookie. Bye, Pookie. <laughs> thank you for calling. Thank Damn, you for it calling. ain't work. All right, Lady. It was cool. Hey, I'm I'm glad I'm glad he going to say, dang, that ain't work. <laughs> You're watching Laugh Talk Gig on WJZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world. Streaming live every Monday night at 7 p.m. on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Periscope. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Hi, I'm with Pookie, to- niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Come out. You out? You better get off that song, Pookie. Back. Oh my God. Uh-uh. They didn't disconnect. Hi, I'm Kelly from Last Talk Giggle, reminding you that we stakeholders of Wayne County must keep aware of the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's work together and remind each other to keep practicing all established COVID-19 protocols, such as social distancing, wearing masks, wash your hands, use proper sanitizing and cleaning products. Pookie, you gone? Gotta be. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay, where do we end at with the question? Okay, so I did this. Oh, we just going to mm. another. I don't know who it was. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. You got to do two. Oh, you got to do two. Oh, you okay. got to come up, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's my fat fingers. <laughs> we all stuck together. Okay. You know when they come okay. out and they just stick together? You tell them oh. they cute. And they cute. Yeah. Because they cute. They are. They pre-prepared. Okay, oh. so I'm going to guess I'll... Give you guys this one. I I'll think I had the last one. It's Kelly. Okay. <laughs> well, I think both of you guys okay. got an answer. Okay, okay. we both answered. Both of you guys got an answer. Yeah, answer. What does it say? She done bopped her head back. <laughs> Should you build a man, man slash woman, or wait for the one you actually desire? I'm going to wait for the one I actually desire when it comes to a man. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to build no man. You better, yeah, I, I, I don't have the time. I don't want to either, because they so fickle. You mean to build them up? Take this one, uh, uh. Then he then ran off with Susan Q. All that work. Mm -hmm. I'm away. I'm away. That's how you get stabbed. Do you think going back into a relationship with an ex is a good idea? Why or why not? Most of the time, it's a bad idea. Now, I have known people who've gotten back together, and it's a good idea. Am I electrifying? What's going on? But most of the time, I'll say no. Well, what you think? I think it's like looking through vomit to see what's good. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like you throw up. And then you come back a couple of days later and say, is that edible? Can I, can I savage that? I just, I just don't think it's a good idea, um, especially, yeah, especially in the short term. Now, maybe if you guys both go about your own way and a few years later he worked on himself mm-hmm. and she worked on herself and you yeah. actually did some real work, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. just thinking that the other person was broke, but to understand that you're broke. You're so broke. we both did work yep. on ourselves. We meet up and we see a level of maturity and change that we can get into and build from there, not just instantly. Then that's a possibility. I don't know. Um, and it, yeah, then it also depends on why did you break up. Right. Yeah. That's, a, that's yeah. important that's, too. You right. Know, what, what reasons did you? And are they break still there? Yeah. Right. Yeah, because that's that's really the key. Because if the reasons are still there, if you breaking up because of disrespect or mm-hmm. infidelity, mm-hmm. or even not just sexual infidelity, but financial infidelity. Yeah, just not having your stuff together, yeah. fire mm-hmm. the job, something to put on the table. Yeah. Well, see, it depends on that. 
Yeah. There's no way to come back out I, of that. I, 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 I don't, don't want to go back to it. Even, yeah. even if you look like look like you gonna hit me, I'm done. Yeah. yeah I'm even done. if I see your eyes blink twice, yeah. I'll be like, oh hey, I'm gone. Right. <laughs> let me t- let me send you that text because <laughs> uh, uh, safety first, ladies and right. men. It's yeah. always safety mm-hmm. first. Yeah. Don't um, compromise your safety because you don't want to be lonely ever. Right. I agree. You're I never agree. lonely when you're with yourself. You know, at least in my house, there's about yourself. three of these in this body. I don't know. Love yourself. You are great. That's true. Mm-hmm. This is true. What's your other question? Oh, you. Oh, guys, that was it. Yep, you guys. Oh, that was two. It. Yep. Did you pass one to me? <coughs> we supposed to pass one off. Oh. Or are okay. we supp- are we now answering both? No, we we passed one off. Oh, okay. We got it. Oh. I think this is two. <laughs> but if I don't like it, I'm throwing one back. That's all I want. Throw back queen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it ain't even Thursday. Yeah, y'all can have this. <laughs> this one, y'all can have that uh-uh. one. That's that's dull. <laughs> this one kind of dull too, but it's not as dull as that one. You can have that one. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. It's dull. I like the one. You with don't the know what it is. It's, it might be a good question for you because I think you think deep like this. Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> as long as she got that wine in her glass, she's going to think real deep. <laughs> now, oh my now God. no more deep. <laughs> what would you tell your 21-year-old self if given a chance? What would I tell myself? A 21-year-old? Damn, girl, you did. Mm-hmm. I would tell myself, do it. Right? Um, I don't know what number that, but yeah. I would probably say take more risk. Mm-hmm. I'm not really a risk taker. I like mm-hmm. to calculate different things. So I mm-hmm. want to know what the outcome is. Right. I'm overthinking everything. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of opportunities that I kind of passed on. Um, there's a lot of but different that's not things. A bad thing, though. Yeah, yeah, but, but you know, you don't know how they would have, you know, I don't know how I would have grown and matured mm-hmm. had I taken, not like, you know, people, but Bungie, job, yeah, all these yeah. things. Yeah. It was so many different stuff. things that I had opportunities to do, and I was like, no, that's not acceptable. That's not respectable. I'm married. Mm-hmm. I can't do this. We have children. You know, I was always thinking about somebody else. So I think it, I would go back and tell my 21 year old self to think about yourself. Mm, that's I that's think that's what I would tell me. Because I think I got lost in other people. Yeah, I think you you went down that road a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But not as much as I used to. Because I was lost. I was always a man's wife and this boy's mm-hmm. mother. Mm-hmm. I never, nobody would, they were like, oh, you're the boy's mom. Or you're, that's, you're so-and-so's mm-hmm. wife. And I never had my own no, identity. identity. It took so long yeah. for me to lot develop of women, and get that. Yep, yeah. a lot of women that yeah. marry or have children younger, they develop that yeah. issue. Like, I need to yeah, live get, for get, me. Get lost into the, mm-hmm. the, the marriage and their children. And yep. That's true. It's true. And then as you get older, like with my children, as they've gotten older now, and I'll be honest, I'm trying to find out who I am as a woman, trying to find out who I am as an individual. Some of the things or the decisions I make, they're like judging them like, really? That's not mm-hmm. who you are. That's not what you've done. So I have to kind of, you know, say, wait a minute. You know, I'm trying to be me. I'm not doing anything unsafe or Right. You know, I'm not causing harm to anybody else or myself. Well, you're young. Ish. You, you're young. <laughs> Ish. You know, you, you know, you're still you get young, young, though. Yeah, but I understand what you're yeah. saying. You're yeah. Young, and you can still go out and take those risks and do yeah. those things because your kids mm-hmm. are they're all older. Yeah. Right. You know? But you know what? We were talking about that at the hair salon over the weekend. A lot of women, as they get older, their kids are looking at them like, Ma. Why are you dressing like that, Ma? Why are you doing your hair like that? But a lot of women you, just get stuck. They get stuck, they get, and they now stuck they feel mm-hmm. free. So mm-hmm. let your mom, just your aunt, whatever, be free. Leave them alone. Yeah, because I have a lot of clients who are, you know, older women, and um, I, you know, I'm always asking what you regret, what you know, and the things that I hear, you know, it's not really bad things. Mm-hmm. It's just that you know I didn't live, I didn't take this opportunity to yeah. take this vacation. Yeah. Or I didn't do this because it wasn't respectable. And I don't think, and this is just my opinion right here, Mm -hmm. solely nobody else's. I think the younger generation now, they don't really care what people think of them. They do what they They, want. And then when I grew up, it was always, and I taught my sons this, Mm -hmm. when you leave the house, you represent me and your dad. 
So you can't leave the house and do A, B, and C because you represent us. Right. Because that's what I was raised. When you leave yeah. the house, you represent me. Right. And it was always in my head. So with them, I did the same thing. And so the young people now, I mean, some of the things I hear of and you know, know that people are doing, I'm like, wow, you know, honestly, mm-hmm. I don't necessarily approve of it but um, I don't disapprove of it either you know you live right. your life to what's mm-hmm. best for you exactly. and right everyone's you know I and, can't and tell I you what's right for you a lot of people act that way now because they don't have that mother and that father to really help to really guide or the village yeah. there's no real village right. now because we lost when the you were village. younger yeah. you know now if you whoop someone's child they're, they want to fight problem. Yeah, yeah they want to yeah. fight you and it's, it's, it's not even whipping it's, it's, it's just chastising just, like just, just saying don't, don't you don't do, do it no this. more mm-hmm. but see I'm weird just, just so everybody know I'm going to say this on national or uh, international TV if your child is in my presence mm-hmm. They're going to get chastised because, I mean, I'm responsible. You leave me with your child or you walk out and go down the street to the store and your child, I'm not going to stand there and let little Timmy hang off for something and he fall and hurt himself and then you're looking at me. No, I'm going to tell him and if he keep doing it. Yeah. Don't leave your kids with Miss Harry. <laughs> leave them with me. <laughs> I don't beat the kids, but I get them together. Yeah, yeah. you know, and sometimes mm-hmm. it's just a firm voice. You know, which yes. they're just not used yes. to. Kids are, yes. and it's a difference between and having a firm voice and yelling. Yep. Because most people hear, like, I have a firm voice. When I'm upset, my firm voice comes out. But people are like, oh, you're yelling. My voice never gets louder than what it is now. I don't yell. But my voice gets deeper, and it gets mm-hmm. more aggressive. Mm-hmm. So I learned that because I had boys. So I had to oh, learn. Because yeah. I'd be like, don't do that. And they'd be like, <laughs> But, right. but I was like, didn't I say? And, you know, when you, you, know, you bring mm-hmm. it to them, it's a total different thing. And I just think kids now... Even little kids now, and I'll be like, didn't I tell you not to do that? They'd be like, they respond. I'm like, JJ yeah. lay hands. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm quick to tell them. I'll have, I've never had to mm-hmm. spank them, but I tell them I lay hands. So you want to keep doing that? They don't, yeah. And they don't want it. They don't yeah. want it. Listen, and, and, and they, they love you for it. They really do. That's what's yeah. so great. And, um, and sometimes kids be wanting that, though. They want, that's yes. what I'm saying. They, yeah, they, they want that it. That stability, they that mm-hmm. consistency. They need you know, someone they see that's going to. Yeah, they yeah, do. They, they know right. that that's a part, and that's crazy. They didn't have to be taught that. Exactly. It's something that's natural. So uh, mothers, young mothers, and fathers. even and fathers, please, no chastising your child or letting them know who's boss. It's okay. And it's a difference from chastising and embarrassing. Yeah, don't because embarrass Because you don't have kids. to have them out in the street and call them out their name and call them yeah. dumb. And Please stupid. stop calling that's your kids necessary. little mother lovers and right. all that. Don't do and, that. You know, you look like your dumb daddy. and mm. That's not Ooh. necessary. Yeah. Because that's trauma. That's yeah, trauma. It and it's and abuse. And, and you don't realize yeah. it because you think you're just saying it because you might be a little angry. But that trauma goes they for remember years. That I mean, they grow up yeah. with that. T- it's like just, yep, oh, you told me. I'm going to be just like my daddy. Yeah, yeah. So you got to learn the difference between chastising correctly and mm-hmm. and just embarrassing. It's it's not necessary. Embarrassment creates bullies. Because yep. I'm so embarrassed, I'm so ashamed of the way not, I'm treated. I'm going to do other people like that like because that. I'm trying to build myself. So heal yourself, people. And, it's, and every day, that's an everyday walk. I walk yep. it every day. So my question is, do you believe that there is only one soulmate for everyone? Yes. No, I'm sorry, why or why not? So, no, I don't believe there's only one soulmate. And I say that because in the infinite um, capacity of our higher power, he's omnipotent, um, Mm -hmm. omnipresent. You better say it. And if if there's only one soulmate for me, is he in Detroit? And why haven't I found him? So I think that if there's only one and they're across the world, and you never get to meet, so do you live a life? And I don't think mm-hmm. there's a presence, a higher power that would create a life for you that you would always be wanting to meet this mm-hmm. person, that you would always be looking for that mm-hmm. person. So I think there's multiple people who can fit in the role of soulmate, mm-hmm. but it depends on the season that you guys meet up. Exactly. So if you meet up, and this could be my perfect soulmate, male or female, but in that season, right. we're not... You know, we're not yeah, equally right, yoked. Yeah. Right. Something's not going Something's on. Off. So yeah. that person, because, you know, I've heard people say, I grew up with this person, never thought I would like them. And 50 years later, they like in their 70s, and now they like, because the season was right. Because 
each season we grow and mature and each mm -hmm. relationship that we have teaches us something new and it teaches us who we are as individuals if we're ready to learn so i don't think personally that there is one soulmate so i would say no there isn't a soulmate but there's always a season yeah i agree i say no and um just like my ex um god rest his soul i feel like he was my soulmate me and him just meshed but he's no longer here so now do i go another right. 40 years high, without I don't think the higher power will right. put you in a position to live your life and mm -hmm. that's a, a perfect example if your soulmate and you no. meet at 12 and at 15 they get a, a disease and they die mm -hmm. and you know that that was so you have to and you live to 90 or 100 right. so you have to live the rest of your life with number two or number three i just don't think that's what we exactly. were put here for exactly. i think that I, I just think that there's a season as for we our grow soulmate. there's another as i grow there's another soulmate out there for me and i don't think we should be closed-minded to think that oh i had my soulmate so i can never have another and mm -hmm. i say that because i met this lady i used to work in a retail store um a part-time gig wow. and i met this older lady um i think she was about she was so jazzy she was about 80 some years old wow and she was just so jazzy and i was so impressed with her and um she had her eyes tattooed the uh oh, eyeliner and stuff tattooed. okay yeah and she got it done in the 70s and you know i'm thinking that's something they just started doing that's off the subject but <laughs> when i met her she was married and she was saying how her husband was really great but they had only been married like maybe 12 years mm -hmm. and she said but my first husband was my first soulmate and they were together 45 years and she said that man did everything that he for her mm -hmm. in their relationship that worked for them mm -hmm. and then she said i thought i would be alone for the rest of my life and then she said a few years later like five or six late years later or so she met her second soulmate mm -hmm. and she said she was just as happy with him as she was with the first and when i talked to her there was so much love and emotion coming out of her mm -hmm. i was like in tears mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. so beautiful i was like I want that it's so because she was so happy and she said I just hope that everybody finds that person who makes them happy and she she just taught me something in that little 10 minute conversation that changed my life literally she was open to it though, yeah I and it was just weird that she just even started talking to me Aww. yeah so anyway we're watching laugh talk get on WJZZ cool TV the coolest station in the world streaming live every Monday night at 7 p.m. on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Periscope. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Hi, I'm Kelly from Last Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Reminding you that we say Are you? Wayne County must keep aware of the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's work together and remind so each other other to keep. Let's remind each other to keep practicing all established COVID-19 protocols, such yes. as social distancing, wearing masks, washing your hands, use proper sanitizer and cleaning products. Everybody do that. What? Everybody do that. Because <laughs> you're like, hi, I'm Kelly. Really? Hi, I'm I didn't Kelly. know. You're Kelly, girl. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. You're so nice. Oh, yeah. Hello. No. Uh oh. You, she's <laughs> My husband. Not that I'm going to make it through one show and not get you <laughs> Look, I, can actually, I can actually swing my hair today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know I, I walk like around with pinches. <laughs> oh, well, grab another one. We ain't got that long. But you got to keep that one. That's funny. She don't like that one. It's too late now. Ooh, the bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm about to. I'm, I'm passing one to you. Who? You. She's going to say, <laughs> Don't forget, okay. I'm going to rush through okay. mine. I'm gonna just going to name this. What is something that everyone looks stupid doing? What is something? <laughs> Wiping when you go to the bathroom. You know, you. Go, <laughs> it's just not a cute thing. You don't That's do it in front of people. people. You see people, you see the kids doing it. And you got older people in the house, you'd be like. Mm -mm. Now, I'm going to tell you what, what people, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you what grown people look stupid doing. What? Skipping. <laughs> I can't I'm guilty because I, no, I no, will skip. Can skip. I don't like to see a man skip. I don't know what yeah, it that's is. That's weird. Why, that, why that, are you skipping? Because you know I be thinking Gomer Pile, Goofy. Skipping in the house. Skipping up the, the steps. Up the steps. Skipping in the kitchen. 
Skip that's it. me. If, I, I if it's something like good it. on oh that counter. No, I don't like that. Stop that skipping. Yeah, I don't like it that It is so at unattractive all. for a man. You stop that yeah, skipping. You lose yeah, so many points <laughs> as a man right. when you skip. You're like, did he just skip? <laughs> did, that, did I just see that? He <laughs> uh, ain't got an apron on skip. Minus three points. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. That is funny. That's cute. <laughs> but I still think wiping. I have, I'm telling you, because you know how you go in the bathroom and it's a party or something, and you go in the public bathroom, and it's like the crack, and then you look at <laughs> you be like, God damn. The... And then the first part is, as you look in, they look at you. <laughs> they look at you. You look at them. You like, all right, girl. Why? <laughs> why you why are you looking? How long you got? I want to know why you get looking. why you look, because when you go it's in, it's the crack. It's the crack. It's the crack. Crack. Yeah. the crack. I be like, don't look, don't look. <laughs> And I hate it. It's when true. I, it's it's true, though. It. It's so true. you always see people, you just don't think about seeing it. Right. But you, and at first you think, you're like, damn, is she got that hand? Is it up her ass? How far is it going back? You know, it's just one of them things. It's just in the craziness. I told y'all, it's two or three people in this head. You are so funny. <laughs> so, okay, somebody threw her questions back in. So we hope. Because we didn't, oh, we didn't answer them. But you read them. Me. You read them silently to no, yourself. Can't see. <laughs> oh, that's probably the one you had. Which one? Work romance. No, nope, yes or no. Hmm. Work romance. I say it. Depends. I've done it. I've done I ain't it gonna before. Lie. I've done I've it. I've done it. It depends I on who it is it now. Oh, why I did it? I ain't even gonna lie. I mean, yeah. I. I mean, is it a good idea? Probably no. I've done it, before. but I have done it. I, I ain't gonna lie. Again. Because, you know, when you're done with the first, you like look at them, see them. Oh, and then they start in, dating the somebody time, else. And, and, and Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've I didn't seen have it that go bad. You know, I, I think I, I think I'm gonna, I, I, I might have got fired after that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm going to say no. But it had nothing no. to do with the romance. It had other I'm gonna things. I'm going to say no because if um somebody walk up to my romance and start talking to him in a way that they shouldn't be talking to him. I don't um, care whether you know we together or not. You're going to find out today. <laughs> then you have to, but you know what? Statistically, no. <laughs> most, a lot of marriages happen from work because mm-hmm. you're in the mm-hmm. office with that person mm-hmm. eight, ten hours a day. Yeah. You see them every single, you see them in the good and the bad. You see a lot of sick, affairs happen at a work, A lot of too. affairs, yeah. Now, now, I don't agree with that. I'm just saying. Uh, I, and I, and I mean, it's I know for it the happens, same reason. But yeah, it happens, but I, now that I don't agree to. I would mm-hmm. not ever but that's just me personally. Right. But a single man and me, I would not do it again if I could, could help it. <laughs> I'm just going to lie because mm-hmm. if I could help it, I wouldn't. But, I mean, you know, sometimes. But sometimes if you're vibing good and I they're know. mature, you're and mature. And when I get to meet this dude, I, if I can't meet him at work and I done met him, and he, that he's that if guy If you always me. at work, that's the only place you're going to exactly. find somebody. Exactly. And you work you five days a week. So, I mean, I'm not saying go out there and do it. Why she talk? You got to find us a song. Get us up out of here. That's right. Oh, I want to see that Bruno Mars song. Is it two songs? She said the summer's coming. Which one? You talking about Will Smith? I love that song with him. Yeah, we got seven minutes. I'm about to find me a question because I want a good question. I'm going to pick something good. Oh, this is a stupid one, but I'll just I'll just this two. Oh, wow, these are connected together. These are interesting together now. Okay. It says, How do you respond to someone who ghosted you and then comes back into your life? Oh, um, at this age now, in my younger years, I'll give them another chance because I was dumb. Young, dumb, and full of But now But now no. I'm I'm just being honest. If he ghosted me, I probably will block him so he would not have a chance to come back. But, but, so, but what if you ran into him in the street? Oh. And he tried, tried to be like, like Jay, I've been I've looking been for you. Yeah. Like, my number ain't changed. I know, Negro. and that's probably be what I would say. He would say. have to have a hell of an excuse. He nah, had he had to be he in a coma. How do, you, how do you ghost somebody? Because this is my thing. Uh, if you don't like me, it's okay. Because we're not all meant to like each other. And if we go out a couple of times and you be like, she's just a waste of my time, just like hit me back and say, you know what, this not working. They not exactly. going to do that. But that's what mature people do. Yeah, you would think. That, you know, because I, th- I would do it like, you know what, I like you. You cool and all, but I don't like you like that. Nigga, no. 
Okay, the second one is kind of like a two-part question because the second says, would you get revenge on a disloyal partner? Ooh. The old me, yes, yep. and I have. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I don't, hmm. I'm a Disloyal tourist. is I'm a big, it, it's got different, you know, word. I mean, is it disloyal? Because everybody always thinks of infidelity, but, you know, it goes way past that. for women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When we say infidelity, all women are not talking sex. You could be emotionally, you could mm-hmm. be talking about financial, mm-hmm. you know, you done ran through my bank account or something, and, you know, honestly, I, I don't know. I, I'm just be honest. I can't say if I would or would not. I'm just going to be honest. Just say how mad I get. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I'm trying to think. It would have to, mm-hmm. you would have to be so disrespectful to me. I mean, to 